Hello and welcome to a new video about my ball balancer. Now that we have produced this, this stuff here, uh, yeah, I made the hardware control because I just want to move the servo motor right now. Now nothing more, nothing less. So here's my Arduino Uno. I'm using Arduino Uno because in school we also use an Arduino Uno in the beginning. Uh, here's a power supply connected. Uh, what program on the Arduino Uno? Is happening, I don't know, it's blinking. Some old program is on there. Uh, here, power supply to the servo motor. Brown is minus, red is, is plus, all right? And yellow, I've connected to pin number 11 because with pin number 11, I want to control. I want to control the, the servo motor. Good, and now, this is the hardware setup. Let's make some programming, all right? All right, so at the computer, uh, I've already opened a new project and so on. Uh, I will add a library, it's called servo.h. Uh, user installed servo.h. Okay, then I call it, I call it a crank drive, servo. Crank drive. What can we do? Dot attach. I have already forgotten how this is working, but we will find out. I think attach. Yes, attach. And now this was pin number 11. I will. Uh, 15,800, I think, is the standard port rate. Huh? 200. Oh, yeah. Yeah, long time not not done. Attaching servo to pin eleven. Done. Now I will will move the servo. Mm. Well, int degree equals zero. Four degree equals zero. Degree smaller 180, degree plus plus, servo dot, no, crank drive, uh, right, degree. We're moving in one direction from 0 to 180 degree. Delay would be fine, 100 milliseconds, and then we're moving back. That's it. That's simply it. More shall not happen. We start at 180, as long as we are bigger than zero, degree minus minus. Ooh. That's it. I think that's it. Now we should see the servo swinging from left to the right. Upload this whole stuff. See what is happening. Looking good. I mean, this. We got lucky with the with the end values, zero and one hundred eighty. Okay. Okay, this looks good. Maybe we are moving now a little bit faster, but only in seconds. Every second, I am now moving ten degree. Let's see how fast this is. Upload. We will see how fast this is now with zero. It's moving. We will see. Well, it is moving, right? It's good. Yeah. Okay. Let's make maximum. 180 plus minus 180 every two seconds. See if this is sufficient. I think it should be. I think it should be. Mm, now it's working. It is working. Good. However, there's also another possibility, right? Microseconds, I think. 
Don't degree is the wrong number. Uh, right microseconds. Uh, right microseconds, right. This is this. And the value is now something, I think, from 700. Because usually we should have between 1000 and 2000. So from 0 to, to I will make it 2300 from 700 to 3100 and every 100 and from 2300 to 700 every 100 microseconds but not delay I will delay it by 200 now we should see the same behavior however uh, if we do write microseconds because actually it's a BWM signal I hope this is Ah, yeah, I've written 10. This is the reason. Ah, let's write 50. Actually, it's a BWM signal, this servo motor signal here. Uh, and this... Uh, but 700 is not zero, right? No, 700 is not zero. It's working. But what is, what is zero then? Try 500. I'm not even sure if 500 is uh, 500 must be must be zero. Good. All right. Let's use 300 and 2600. How far we are going? It seems like we cannot go further. Also good to know that this servo motor is actually prohibiting doing stupid stuff. I want to find out. I want to find out the the uh, limit. I want to find out the limit. <laughs> okay, find out the limit. How? First of all, I stop the power supply. How to find out the limit? I will use two buttons. I will use two buttons uh, and and simply add those two buttons here. Uh, and one is up and one is down. This is a good idea, I think. <laughs> I think button one, button two, uh, cables. Of course, input pull up, so I have to connect them to to ground. And up, I will use three. And down, I will use two. Good. Program this little something here. Mm, pin mode. Two and three are pull input pull up. Yeah. Wow, look, it's now int put up is digital read. I want to have this at in the beginning faster, so if the add value uh, is lower, equals one. Then we will delay half a second, else delay only 100 milliseconds. Here we'll use the same. we we'll use the same logic. We have 2, 8, 16, 32, 64. Ah, must be the same. This must be the same. Then we are moving faster down. And we will write the milliseconds. Crank drive, milliseconds. All right. And we will write it as well.
limit this. And if nothing is pressed, I will say uh, add value. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is working how I think. I want that at the first button press we only have degrees zero. No, I will go to 1000. Upload this. This is up, this is down. Up, down. Uh -huh. Power, I need power of course. Okay, this seems to be 1000. Hmm. Ah, static. This would be a good idea. This would have been a good idea to define the static. And of course I have to read not. Okay, we add 1000. Really? Why? Ah, because also the add value should be static. Man, gold hands. <sighs> Out of practice. I have long time. I have not programmed anything. Yeah, doesn't look in the videos, but this is your my beard. Yeah, how much beard has grown? Last last recorded last recording was three quarter years ago. Round. Seven months, I guess. All right. So let's see if it's now. Yes. Sounds different now. Huh? We're moving. Seems like six hundred was a good, it's a good thing. Yeah. Maybe five hundred. Let's see 600. And on the other side. Ah, now it's on it. 2300. 600 to 2300. This would be. Mm -hmm. It's moving. Good. Also this way, hopefully. Let's see. Maybe I should somehow connect this with some little screws. All right, all right. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Good. Meanwhile, quite some parts already arrived. So next video will be completing completing this, uh, and then we'll add measurement of our bowl, uh, because then we can put the bowl on and see if we can even get an echo by this this uh, connected this measurement ultrasonic devices. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.